trying to figure out what to bring with me because it's raining outside. Here's a peek inside my Speedy 25 bandoulière with my Samorga. I didn't bring my big wallet, I just still downsizing. I don't know, I never changed it out to my Emily wallet. So this guy, the Zippy Mid Scout, is so useful. And um, that is not to say that I will never use my Emily again, I will. Um, but you know, just right now, I'm really just enjoying it a lot. Reserve that other spot where you can place a water bottle. I'm just gonna reserve it for the camera that I'm holding right now. If hubby is not driving me to downtown, then it's not really worth it to park in downtown because parking is so expensive. So taking the sky train by myself is definitely better. Uh, let's see, what do I have to tell you? Oh, did you guys? I don't know where where you live if they make any special stamps every year for the Chinese New Year. So this year will be the year of the monkey. Anyway, they came out with the new stamps and I bought a sheet. I should buy probably a couple more and they didn't have all of them available. I only bought the standard 25 stamps, local stamps. Um, but I'm still waiting for the international one. And oh, in case you didn't know, I actually do collect stamps since I was pretty young. Uh, I think my mom got us into it. But there was one year, it was the year of the sheep. I think back then I was in college or in high school, so of course, you know, I paid for my own school and everything, so I was pretty broke most of the time, but I still collect it. And I remember I bought only one sheep of the 25 um, sheep stamps. And one time I had to mail something and I was so desperate that I actually ended up using one one out of those 25 so now that sheet is like permanently missing one stamp. <laughs> anyway, I'm buying my ticket right now. Some of you may know that uh, the Louis Vuitton in Canada they decided to have uh, their first price increase in 2016. I know already, I'm like so tired of them. For those of you who have Valentino stud shoes, are they comfortable? Because I love the look of them, I want them, but shoes is one of those things that I cannot just buy a lot of because I have, uh, well you guys all know I have arthritis, so it affects all of my joints including my feet and my toes, oh so pretty, and so they have to be usually like the shoes that I buy they usually have to be comfortable right off the bat or at least requiring very very little very minimal breaking in so let me know you guys down below if you have the Valentino set shoes or maybe if you know a good dupe that is super comfortable because I would like to get my hands on them but I'm too scared that it will be uncomfortable and I won't end up wearing them so yeah, let me know. This is the seven days a week. I was, I had inquired about it before for my husband. I think it looks really good actually, now that I look at it in person, but then again, it's all depending on how he likes it. The leather is a little bit more matte though. It's not as smooth and shiny as like the Ibn and stuff, so. Oh my gosh, so cute. But it's so small, nano. <laughs> so dinky, but it's very cute. This is the nano BB and the PM. Here's my outfit. You probably saw a similar one when I went shopping in my shopping vlog. Just wore a beautiful t-shirt. So this is another pair of jeans. This is an, actually an ankle jean, but I got it in the uh, regular size. So it's actually a little longer, but as you can see, the bottom is a little bigger than skinny jeans would be so I might have to um, I will taper it down myself and I'm wearing my bag I love this outfit I know the t-shirt looks like it's <laughs> I didn't fix it very well but um, yeah I love these Banana Republic t-shirts I actually buy most of my clothes 
at either Banana Republic or Aritzia. I mean, I will shop everywhere, but those two are my favorite stores. I like Banana Republic because I think their clothes are classic, good quality, and they do often go on sale. Like, even if it's not like liquidation or clearance sale or end of season sale, they usually have like once in a while they'll have like 30% off or 40% off which really really does help and their clothes I do find that they last a bit longer so I'm not so worried about washing them in the long term they will last a little longer which is something I really really like you know compared to like Forever 21 or whatnot um, now um, for Aritzia I don't like all of their clothing but I do like the you know the staples like the jackets and the uh, what call it? So the macaj jackets because they do carry macaj there, and then I like their Babaton and Wilfred brand. I really do like how they come up with a little bit of the very minimalist, but still very I don't know. It's not really edgy, but it's kind of minimalist, very kind of like fashion forward type of wear. So I do like shopping there. Plus. These two companies, they do make smaller sizes. So for Banana Republic, I wear their petite size. And for Aritzia, they tend to make clothes that are a little bit on the slimmer side, which I really like. Um, but they also design things that are kind of flowy and like, you know, cocoon style. So I do, I do enjoy going there. There's a little bit of leather trim here. What do you think? Or is it too, too much for some boxes? I can see the thread coming out over here. So that's one dilemma I have. OMG guys. I don't know why I didn't try this earlier because I am totally head over heels for the twin set. Oh my gosh. What am I gonna do now? I can't get it for pre-price increase because I never thought of getting it. I love it. I have solved my dilemma, I think, because as much as I would love to have a small clutch from Louis Vuitton, a canvas clutch, I think I'm gonna pass on the Palazzo clutch. Um, I mean, not only due to the couple points that I mentioned, but also because I completely fell in love with the twin set, or it's called the twice now. <sighs> I just wished I came earlier because now it's already the price has increased so it doesn't matter if I buy today or like two months down the road um, so yeah I can definitely save up for that one and the reason is because oh, I'm gonna go to Banana Republic to check it out but the reason is because I tried the twice before and that was like last year actually and I didn't buy it because I was thinking because I was thinking that um, it was too small for my needs and then I already had the pochette mitzis so I didn't buy it yes that's awesome actually I just met a few um, I guess girls they just stopped me to ask me if I was a youtuber and they were really excited anyway I think they will subscribe so if you're watching hey babes thank you so much for stopping me <laughs> um, but anyways I was talking about so I was saying that I didn't buy the hood set because I already had the push and then I thought that it was a little bit small for my need but it, it turns out that ever since I switched my wallet to the mid scout which is the really small downsizing wallet that I use now now it's perfect and it's pretty much Okay, I won't say that it's like the Celine Trio, it's not, um, but it's 
this basically the same capacity as that uh, which is very similar to my Aritzia bag that I use for the record girls it's not because I didn't want to film you guys I should have included you guys in my vlog but he just caught me by surprise and I didn't know what to say so but anyway thanks for stopping me and for saying hi and yeah subscribe to my channel